Hi everybody and welcome to another watercolor episode. Today we're going to be painting another birthday card, so grab your piece of paper and let's get started. The first thing you can do is tape the borders of your piece of paper. If you want nice clean and crisp borders, I just used regular scotch tape. And then you're going to cover your entire piece of paper with a layer of water, as you saw me do earlier. And before that layer dries, you want to go ahead and start applying colors in the four quadrants of your paper because we're going to be creating a four quadrant gradient today. So I started with blue in the left corner, the bottom left corner. I faded it into purple in the bottom right. Then I faded it into sort of a reddish magenta color in the top right before fading it into a pink color in the top left. You can definitely replicate the color scheme that I did or you can create your own. It doesn't really matter, whatever works for you. But once that first layer has completely dried, you can go ahead and apply a second layer of water using a mop brush. And as always, I've linked uh, in the description the products that I use should you wish to add them to your collection. Um, so here you just want to make sure that when you apply that second layer with your mop brush, the layer underneath has to be completely dry because it will smudge otherwise and the center won't be completely white. So just keep that in mind when you're, um, when you're painting in that second layer. While that layer is still wet, you can flicker on some watered down white acrylic paint. And then once it's completely dried, you can flicker on some watered down acrylic paint again and this will make those um, splatters a lot more vibrant and intense. Whereas before when the paint was wet, they sort of spread out into the paint and create this cloudy effect. So once that layer has completely dried, you can go ahead and grab a black pen or black marker, doesn't necessarily have to be black, and you want to just draw on foliage coming from all of the borders of your uh, painting until it's completely filled all the way around. Once you're finished, you can peel the tape off and go ahead and write in your happy birthday greeting. I always like to pencil in my greeting first, just to avoid any mistakes and make sure that my letters are all correctly spaced. And you're all finished! Thank you so much for watching this week's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly tutorials, and I will see you in next week's video.